Okay, we're rolling video number one of two. This one, we're gonna blow through uh, 10 problems very quickly where we're going to solve and proof equations. Move the mic a little closer here. Okay, lunch is gonna be over in minutes, so I gotta go quickly. And here we go. Solve and proof. I'm going to add 10 to both sides. I get x equals 5. Proof, 5 minus 10 equals negative 5. Negative 5 on both sides. We're looking for the same answer on both sides to make the proof true. OK, there's the first one. Second one, see if I can keep them both on the screen. OK, I'm going to add 10 to both sides. Remember. Both sides, both sides, both sides. 2x equals 6, divide both sides by 2. x equals 3. Let's do a proof. Check your work, right? Substitute. Substitution to get a solution. Substitution. Same number means 3 was the solution, OK? When your proof is true, that means that was the solution. Okay, if your proof is not true, you did something wrong, go back and fix it. Hopefully that won't happen here. Okay, I'm going to take away 2x from both sides. Now I'm going to take away 3 from both sides, then I'm going to divide by 2. I can see that one coming a mile away. x equals 2. I'm going to have to write tiny here, but I'm going to do my best, okay? 4 times 2 plus 3, which is 11, right? 8 plus 3, which is 11. Now we're going to do 2 times 2 plus 7, 11, right? I got 11 for both expressions, right? That means 2 is my solution. Next, take away 12 from both sides. 8x equals 120, 120 divided by 8. That's right, divide by 8. 8 goes into uh, 80 10 times, and then another 40, so 15. Calculators are allowed on this test, by the way, so you don't need to rely on crazy mental math skills like I'm going to do here, okay? 120 plus 12 is 132. Take it all the way down until you just have simplified it. So there's only one number on each side. Make it so obvious, okay? Put a true or a check mark or a smiley face or something, okay? To indicate your success. Distributive property, 12x, negative 9. Remember to distribute that thing outside to everything inside. Now we can work on inverse operations. Divide by 12, x equals 6. Let's do a proof. Let's start here. 12 times 6 minus 9 equals 63. Let's check that out. 72 minus 9. Get out your calculator. Push a few buttons. Yes. Okay. True. All right. We're five problems in four minutes. That's not bad. Here we go. They're getting... More complicated, though, which means I'm going to write smaller, distribute that 3, distribute that negative 5, distribute, okay, now I'm going to add 6x to both sides, I always start with the x and I want to get it positive, okay, that's my strategy, you're welcome to steal my strategy or you can use your own, x equals negative 27 here, Okay, oh, do your proof, do your proof. I don't have the space, I'm sorry. And I'm trying to make this video as short as possible. That's right, Morgan, I'm trying. Let's see if it works out. Oh, negative 4x. Sticking with my strategy of starting with the x, but working to keep it positive, just like in life. 
work to keep it positive. Divide both sides by 3, I get x equals negative 4. Okay, let's go ahead and sneak a proof in here on this one. 4 times negative 4 minus 3. That's the left side of this equation, by the way. That's negative 16 minus 3 is negative 19. And I'm going to do the right side separately. 7 times negative 4 plus 9. Hopefully you see what I'm doing here. Negative 28 plus 9 is negative 19. Okay, since those are equal, that is true, and that makes negative 4 the correct answer. Oh, I forgot to circle my answers. I get a little uh, OCD about that. Okay, distributive property, 4x plus 10 equals 33. There's still three minutes left before lunch is over. I think I can do this. I have to keep up the pace. Keep up the pace. Hey, on your test, go slowly, please. Take your time and make sure you're doing it correctly. Divide both sides by 4. Whoa, x equals 23 fourths, which is the same as 5 and 3 fourths, or 5 and 75 hundredths. Okay, I'm going to finish this video with no proofs because I want to finish this video before the bell rings. I'll make the second video at a later time today. Let me get these posted. i got to get them posted for you. Okay. 2x is negative 30. Guess what? x equals negative 15, right? Do the proof. Let me know if that's right. Post a comment if it's not. <laughs> Please. I don't want to post bad information. 3x minus 4 equals negative 7. This looks like it's going to be a fraction. Plus 4 plus 4. Oh, I'm wrong. It's not going to be a fraction. It's going to be the easiest one on the whole page. Divide by 3. x equals negative 1. Please do a proof. Leave a comment or send me a message letting me know. Right? You can send me a message here. Send it to my school email. If you can read my writing, that's the real challenge. K12.or.us. Send me a message if I did something wrong. This study guide is over. Stay tuned for the next one.